when you look at cultures in other parts of the world and our willing adoption of many ethnic cuisines in the Western world, why is it that we don't like the thought of eating bugs? Yet many cultures do. Go to Oaxaca State in the south of Mexico and there's a long history of insect consumption stretching back in time. This street vendor selling chapulines, which are essentially types of spinarium grasshopper, is a typical site in Oaxaca. You'll also find gusanos for sale, various types of caterpillars which live in the maguey or agave plant. Another traditional Mexican favourite are Eskimos, or the eggs of ants, regarded by some as an absolute delicacy fit for the gods and fetching a high price. In many other parts of the world too, ant eggs are traditionally consumed as human food. Like many insect species, Eskimos are high in nutritional goodness. Indeed, some insects are so high in protein and fat content, gram for gram, that they outstrip many conventional meat products in terms of nutrition. So why is it that we in the Western world, given the potentially high nutritional value of insects, and the fact that nearly 2.5 billion people around the world consume them as part of their regular diet, often as a preferred item, cannot bring ourselves to consider insects as food? Perhaps it is because of the visual look of some insects. But then fresh prawns aren't overly appealing to look at until they have been prepared. In fact, fresh prawns are not much different in the ugly steaks, or size, to a mole cricket. And if you didn't think that you already have insects in your diet, think again. The food colouring cochineal is extracted from an insect and gives food a red or pink coloration depending on the concentration used. Around the world, particularly in the tropics, insects are widely accepted as human food. In Brazil, the larva of seed and scarab type beetles, and also the larva and pupa of various stingless bees, are consumed. Leafcutter ants too are fair game, as are termites, which are reduced to a paste, which is then roasted in banana leaves. The termites shown are a related species. Over on the African continent, many cultures have insects as a key component of their diet. Palm weevil grubs, particularly the ones which infest the sago palm, Metroxylon sagu, are encouraged to infest the stumps of palms previously felled for the sago starch extraction. Sometimes palms are intentionally cut down to cultivate the grubs for food. The variegated grasshopper. Zonocerius variegatus is a serious crop pest in Cameroon and elsewhere in Africa, but manually picking off the hoppers both controls the pest and provides a source of human nutrition. Related locust species too have traditionally formed a nutritional bedrock among many tropical peoples, while types of cicada also have entered the human food chain. other very important insect resources among some African peoples are the caterpillars of several emperor moth species. Gonembrasia bellina, better known as the Mapani worm, and Embrasia forda are the two best known. Still on the African continent, in Senegal you might find species of Sibista, predaceous diving beetles, being consumed. Relatives of these diving beetles among numerous other insects too, are high on the food agenda of a country well known for its consumption of insects, Thailand. Anyone who has travelled to Bangkok, Thailand's capital, will probably have encountered the street vendors selling innumerable insects as snack food, like the weaver ant. Fried adults and the eggs of this species are consumed and sometimes a salsa is made of the crushed adults. In this part of the world, silk manufacturing is a major industry, and it is hardly surprising that in Thailand, Japan, China and Korea, the redundant silkworm pupa, essentially a byproduct of silk production, 
end up in the human food chain. It is natural that the populations of developing nations want to better themselves, economically and socially. But by adopting Western models of industrial farming, are they doing themselves a disservice as productive rainforest is slashed and burned to make way for livestock? Rearing livestock Western style is an expensive affair, what with special animal feeds, veterinary bills, transportation to and from the slaughterhouse, plus contributions towards greenhouse gases. Various estimates suggest the input costs of rearing insects as food are between 10 and 20 percent of the amount required to raise traditional livestock, while the food conversion efficiency of many insects is estimated to be up to 20 times that of cattle. Recently, Chinese researchers have called for a debate in their country on the idea of industrially farming some prolific insect species as a protein source. While in Africa, researchers have experimented with ground-up lake flies and termites as a food supplement to fortify bread and biscuits. Maybe it's time for a rethink about insects as human food on our part. If we can just get our heads around the ick factor and think of insects as just another snack food. <laughs>